Docket number 2022-GS-15-00592, the State of South Carolina, County of Colleton, in the Court of General Sessions, in the term of 2022, July, the State versus Richard Alexander Murdoch Defendant, Indictment for Murder, SC Code 16-3, dash 0010, CDR code 0116, okay. guilty verdict, signed by the four lady, 3223. Docket number 2022-GS-15-00593, the state of South Carolina, County of Colleton, in the Court of General Sessions, the July term of 2022, the State versus Richard Alexander Murdoch defendant, indictment for murder, SC code 16-3-0010, CDR code 0116, verdict guilty, signed by the four lady, date 3-2 of 23. Docket number 2022-GS15-00595, the State of South Carolina, County of Colleton, Court of General Sessions, July term 2022, the State versus Richard Alexander Murdoch, defendant, indictment for possession of a weapon during the commission of a violent crime, SC Code-16-23-0490, CDR code 0549, verdict guilty, signed by the foreperson of the jury, date 3223. Docket number 2022GS-15-00594, the State of South Carolina, County of Colleton, Court of General Sessions, July term 2022, the State versus Richard Alexander Murdoch, defendant. Indictment for possession of a weapon during the commission of a violent crime, SC Code 16-23-0490, CDR Code 0549, verdict guilty. Signed by the foreperson of the jury, 3223. Thank you. Uh Madam Forelady and members of the jury, if that is the verdict of each and every juror, please let it be known by raising your right hands. All right, thank you. Any individual polling requested? We do, Your Honor. Right, Madam Clerk, you'll need to individually poll the ju jury according to their jury juror numbers. Number 193. Was this your verdict? Yes, sir. Is it still your verdict? Yes. Juror 22, two, I'm sorry, juror 254? Yes. Is this your verdict? Yes. Is it still your verdict? Yes. Juror 326, was this your verdict? Yes. Is it still your verdict? Yes. Juror 6, juror 530, was this your verdict? Yes. Is this your verdict? Yes. Juror 544, yes. Was this your verdict? Yes. Is it still your verdict? Yes. Juror 572. Was this your verdict? Yes. Is it still your verdict? Yes. Juror 578. Was this your verdict? Yes. Is it still your verdict? Yes. Juror 589. Was this your verdict? Yes. Is it still your verdict? Yes. Juror 630. Was this your verdict? Yes. Is it still your verdict? Yes. Juror 729, was this your verdict? Yes. Is it still your verdict? Yes. Juror 826, was this your verdict? Yes. Is it still your verdict? Yes. Juror 864, was this your verdict? Yes. Is it still your verdict? Yes. Your Honor, the jury has been polled. Thank you. The jury has been polled and the verdict is a unanimous verdict. If you will bring the alternate juror out and have her uh, have a seat in the audience, please.
You can stand there or you can sit back there, whatever you prefer. Okay. Are there any post trial motions? None from the state, Your Honor. Your Honor, we, we would just renew our previously um, uh, argued motions for a directed verdict. And at this on, on the grounds, <clears throat> on those grounds, we would make a motion for a mistrial and to set aside the verdict. Um, by the state, response. Your Honor, based on our previous arguments, we would submit that the uh, case properly went to the jury and the verdict is proper and we rely on those arguments. Right, we've been here now 28 days, um, first few days of jury selection and the remainder receiving testimony, uh, a, an overwhelming amount of testimony and evidence that was presented to the jury for the jury's consideration as I indicated to the jury during the jury charge or the charge on the law that this was a matter solely for jury, the jury to determine. Uh, the court found at the end of the state's case that there's sufficient evidence to find the defendant guilty if the evidence um, was believed by the jury. Uh, likewise, at the end of the, the uh, defense's case, when the motion was renewed, the court um, found that the evidence was sufficient for the jury to find the defendant guilty. The jury has now considered the evidence um, for a significant period of time, and um, the evidence of guilt is overwhelming and uh, I deny the motion. The, Mr. Murdoch, you now having been found guilty of two counts of murder involving your wife and your son, two counts of possession of a weapon during the commission of a violent crime, uh, the burden now comes upon the court to impose a sentence uh, given the lateness of the hour and the victim's rights that must be um, taken into consideration and complied with under the Victim's Bill of Rights and consider what I would anticipate to be a number of people who might have something to say regarding sentencing. Uh, we will defer sentencing to a later date. Of course, the um, minimum sentence for murder is 30 years. The maximum sentence is life imprisonment as to each count. And the, on the weapons charge, the sentence is up to five years or five years which has to be concurrent if a life sentence is imposed. When would you all like to uh, reconvene for sentencing? I would like to give everyone an adequate opportunity to prepare, prepare for it. State will be ready at 9.30 in the morning, Your Honor. Could do it at 9 30 tomorrow morning also all right the um, defendant is remanded to the custody of the um, Colleton County Sheriff's Department and he may be taken away <laughs> 